Welcome, Maureen. Okay, thank you. I'm going to take you through a regular sex partners to sex workers, a forgotten population in STI HIV control. So, uh, University of Manitoba collaborates with, uh, with the University of Nairobi in Kenya uh, in HIV STI research group, which uh, started way back in the 1980s um, in uh, HIV prevention activities, targeting sex workers. Uh, with PEPFA support, we managed to open up uh, nine clinics, seven dedicated to sex workers uh, activities, and two for families and friends of the sex workers, uh, termed as general population. In February 2013, under the Community Positive Health Dignity and Prevention, uh, Ushirikiano, a Kiswahili word which means cooperation, intervention, we initiated and targeted regular partners of the sex workers. Regular partners of sex workers are hard to reach besides being at high risk of HIV acquisition. acquisition. So the study took six months. It was a cross-sectional study. Uh, we have prevention officers. These prevention officers, they um, visit hotspots, sex workers' hotspots in Nairobi. They mobilize the sex workers and uh, they offer them a minimum prevention package. Uh, this includes um, condom use, uh, partner testing, uh, family testing, and all that. And then when they talk to them, the sex workers, they issue them with the referral cards for their regular partners. The sex worker has several partners, but we uh, target the regular partners because they are easy to, take to, uh, to be reached by the sex workers. So when the regular partners to the sex workers come to the general population clinic, they come with their referral forms or cards, and we administer clinical baseline questionnaire to the regular clients. And uh, the questionnaire asks about HIV, STI issues, and we also screen them about HIV and STI. Those ones who turn positive for STI we give them treatment. The ones who turn positive for HIV, we enroll them into a comprehensive care clinic. So these are the results of the baseline survey that was did, done on uh, the general population. The, okay, the, that was done on the sex workers' partner that were brought to the general population. So the age group was uh, 18 years and above. 68.2% uh, of this population were married. Uh, close to 94% were practicing vaginal sex, and 24.5% um, had never used condom with a casual partner. 49% uh, had never used condom with a regular partner, and only 12% used I always used condom. Um, the last time they had sex with a spouse, 52.7% had uh, sex with spouse, uh, and 77.4% did not use condom at all. 58.2% um, paid for sex, 41.8% did not. Um, 58.2% did not pay for sex, while 41.8% paid for sex. Uh, we had less than 1% that were having sex with men. The results for HIV and STI screening, out of 719, 4.9% tested positive for HIV, 1.7% tested positive for RPR, while 15.1% tested positive for GC. Uh, you can see this infection is very high between the ages of 18 to 29 year olds and low in 50 years and above. Uh, so last time the regular partner had sex with, uh, among those who uh, tested positive for STIs, we had 32.4% had sex with the regular partner. And uh, the regular partner here was the sex worker who brought them to the clinic. And then 80% don't use condom. 
42.3% have never paid for sex, but 57.7% have paid for sex. 65.8% uh, had never been treated for STI before, and 77.5% had not been treated for HIV before, tested for HIV before. So from this presentation, we can say that um, majority of regular partners of sex workers are married, we saw, that's around 68.2%. They also have multiple partners and therefore at high risk of STI acquisition and transmission, have low rates of HIV testing and efforts to target them with prevention intervention is needed. Also more work on condom and social determin determinants of risk required as they serve as a bridging population. This one came up because we saw that even the few that used condoms, they, they did not know how to use the condom correctly. Less than 2% actually demonstrated correct and consistent condom use. And then Ushirikiano, as part of PhDP, should be scaled up to help control STI and HIV among regular partners of sex workers. We acknowledge the University of Nairobi, Manitoba, NASCOP, which is a Minister of Health in Kenya, CDC Kenya, PEPFA Kenya, CAP Network, all clinic staff and clans, and AIDS 2014. Thank you.